Today we are doing the classroom session of Max Wilhelm's uh, Rebreather course. We're doing a little bit of uh, theory and then we're going to be spending the rest of the day putting the unit together, doing the operational checks, um, going over some skills, doing some muscle memory activities with the Rebreather on here in the classroom. My name is Shirley White and I'm an instructor, Rebreather instructor with the Nanaimo Dive Outfitters. Rebreather training is very attainable for people. You don't have to be a technical diver to dive rebreathers. You can be a recreational open circuit diver going straight into the rebreather. We teach you what you need to know. We teach you about advanced nitrox. We teach you how to manage the oxygen. We teach you how to do certain skills. So divers who should consider rebreather diving are the ones that want to stay in the water longer. It gives you the, the maximum amount of time in the water on any given dive. If you want to dive deeper, that would be the unit that you want to use as well. Trimix divers, technical divers, definitely want to be on a rebreather because it's way less expensive. You've got one nice little canister of Trimix that makes it uh, much cheaper to dive. And anybody who wants to be bubbleless, you want to have more interaction with marine life, you definitely do when you don't have bubbles coming up in front of your face. So if you want to improve your skills, improve your diving, extend your diving, um, see more marine life, then rebreather diving is definitely for you and anybody can learn it. So for today, the rebreather course with Maxwell is um, going over some uh, academics, not too much academics because a lot of it is done online, which lets people practice at their own or learn at their own speed. But we do touch on the key things in class. And then a bulk of today is learning how to assemble the unit uh, and then do the operational checks. What would you do if you were going diving, your unit is set up, how do you get it ready to, to go diving? And then we're going to practice some of the skills. It's gonna put the unit on and I'm gonna go through some of the skills and the actual hand motions that he would um, use in the water so that he can start to build some knowledge, some practical knowledge in his brain on how to do the skill. There's an assembly checklist so you know exactly how to assemble everything so nothing is forgotten. And there's an operational checklist that you go through once it is assembled so that you get it ready to go diving. Um, the parts as well, they are keyed so you can't flip things backwards. And they're color coded, which is something I really like. All the hoses are color coded, oxygen hoses, till you went hoses. So they make it fairly simple to set up. My first impression of the course is I really like it. Like the, it, it's a lot simpler than it looks. Uh, once you, you go through the manuals, you go through the e-learning, it looks complicated and complex, but once you, you dive right in, it becomes um, quite easy to understand how to, how to use. All right, Maxwell, good first day. We're done for today. Lots of material that we went over today, lots more to go. But it's probably a little, little overwhelming. First day is always overwhelming, but it'll sink in and it'll all come together tomorrow when we're in the pool. Thanks very much. It's really hard to talk about everything. You need to actually get in there and do it I'm for it to sink to it, in. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah.